Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors. What Kirk and I did is we then switched and went back and got into another stand. Um, back over where I had filmed that year from before. And we get in that stand and Kirk and I argued. I mean, we argued big, we, we argue all the time when we're hanging stands. He wants to go one way, I want to go the other. But I had a spot where I wanted to put the particular tree, I want to put the stand in, and he wanted to be in a different one. And we chose to go with his, he was the shooter, so I let him pick. Well, lo and behold, we had a three by three, a, a Pope and Young three by three. He's just a giant. And he comes walking in, and if we'd have been in the tree where I wanted to be, we would have killed him, but instead, he's too far away. But right before dark, we hear a grunt, here comes a buck. It turns out it's the same buck that I had passed up. so Kirk is ready to shoot this deer. Well, we have also argued about where our stands went in the tree, meaning which side was going to be the shooter stand, which one was going to be the, the uh, camera stand. And Kirk took the other stand. From my point of view, it's wide open. You can see the buck is clear as day. But from Kirk's, he has that one tree right there, right in the way. And so Kirk's whole hunt ends up, he doesn't kill a buck. Um, and even though we had a absolutely great opportunity to get it done a couple times just didn't happen so um, that's the way it goes you know you'll argue with your buddies sometimes you make the right decisions sometimes you won't i can tell you what me and him will always remember this hunt we'll remember it number, number one because it was the hunt that was going to make us famous and it didn't um, it will it will remember it as the hunt that we killed our first whitetail buck on video uh, and but more importantly, we'll remember it because it was just a lot of fun, fun for two friends to go up and spend the time hunting together and, and have as much fun as we did.